Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will discuss a very important concept uh, which has been raised by a student from Bangladesh. And uh, the question arises when we solve these two questions. Question number 10A and chapter question and, and chapter question number 13 uh, from Mr. Ballstead book, chapter number 2. Okay, so this is the uh, circuit and uh, the question is which diode will conduct and when will that diode conduct? And the question arised because of the fact that in this example only one diode conducts but in this example both the diodes conducts although here is also silicon and gallium arsenide and here is also silicon and gallium arsenide. So for my ease, I'm turning this, uh, redrawing this circuit, just giving it a little turn so it looks easier for me. And now if you see the silicon diode and gallium arsenide diode, and now this is the bridge circuit, we have given it a turn also. And to make it look similar to this, I have redrawn it again. So this circuit redrawn looks similar to the first one. Okay, now we have solving, we have to keep in mind the conduction voltage. Now we know that silicon requires 0 0.7 volt uh, for it to become forward bias or conduct. And similarly, germanium 0 0.3 and gallium arsenide, which is given here, it requires 1.2 volt to turn on. Now with this background, let's uh, discuss the first question. Silicon, it has 12 volt here, so silicon will uh, turn on because it only requires 0 0.7 volt. So this one will turn on first. So we replace this with the battery. So 0 0.7 volt battery. Now what is the voltage here? It will obviously be 0 0.7 volt. So we show it like this. Now since this, the voltage across this point is 0 0.7 volt and gallium arsenide requires 1.2 volt and this is locked now, this 0 0.7 volt is locked, it will not increase no matter what supply voltage we do. Therefore, this will never get 1.2 volt and therefore gallium arsenide diode will not conduct. And so generally we show it by a cross or sometimes we cut it away already, all right? And this is the only circuit left then we can solve. Now I have, uh, I'll give you the links of both the questions so you can follow. Now the second question, I have connected a, a, a battery now to replace 12 volt and this is just for my ease of writing KVL equation. And here also as in this case we have replaced the silicon diode with a 0 0.7 volt battery and this current we are calling I1 current. Now just like here we have to first of all find a voltage drop here and then we have to find the total voltage in this which we are calling V1 and this V1 will determine whether this gallium arsenide will turn on or not. So let's see by KVL we are going from here the so negative signs so are negative 12 then I uh, 0 0.7 then I1 into 2K and I1 into 2K and from here we will calculate I1 and now we can calculate this voltage which I am calling V2KR V2K and R for right side so V2KR will be I1 into 2K I1 is this value 2K so it will 5.65 volt now what is the total voltage now? This voltage plus this voltage. 
so v1 voltage will be 0 0.7 plus 5.65 that is 6.35 now 6.35 here is good enough to turn this on because this only requires 1.2 volt and therefore this diode will also conduct in this case so that's the difference between the two now is there any condition or this will always be valid let's see Okay, here it is saying that since V1 is 6.3 volt, is applied to the left arm also, and it is more than the turn on voltage 1.2 of gallium arsenide, hence gallium arsenide will also conduct. Now, coming on to the uh, uh, option that we should see, for that, uh, what I have done, I have reduced the resistances, these two resistances and I have reduced it to only 50 ohms. I just want to see what happens when the, this resistance is reduced to 50 ohm. This one remains same. And we, uh, assuming this to be on, we have to find this voltage V1, same as we did in the previous case. And now same technique by the KVL we calculate I1 from here and then V2K and this is 0 0.275 now 0 0.275 volt here and 0 0.7 here will give us V1 so V1 is 0 0.975 volt now 0 0.975 volt apply, uh, uh, is uh, appearing here which will not turn on this gallium arsenide because the gallium arsenide requires 1.2 volt. So in this case this diode will not turn on. So you can see the change in the value of the resistance has made the difference. So it is better whenever this type of a circuit is given that we verify whether uh, the condition of turn on of both the diodes are valid or not. Although generally, uh, okay, so this is not enough to turn on, but generally it is not given like this. Generally it should be like this, but if your teacher wants to test uh, your knowledge, then uh, he will always try this method and check whether you know the subject or not. So I hope you have been able to follow this and please share this with your friends, give me your comments and if you like, please subscribe my channel so you know what whenever I upload a video. Thanks.